ways or a trillion ways of sorting through on demand. The notion that there is a single right way of categorizing that doesn't even occur to people, nor should it. I guess we're more on the skeptic and skeptics. And I, I, although I wouldn't actually express it as a, as a skepticism, I, I would say that there are that we're enthusiasts for a particular piece of right, the right, semantic right. web, right. Um, which the which some people are skeptical about, <coughs> which is the sort of sloppy or scruffy uh, semantic web. So the panel, the panel was a panel titled Does the Semantic Web Need Ontologies? And everybody on the panel said Yes, we were unanimous about that. The uh, Semantic Web does need ontologies. This only makes me think of the following question. Is the Pope Catholic? So that sort of is at the far formal end of the Semantic Web. I guess what we both m believe more in is it, you know, a little a little structure goes a long way if you combine it with, for example, uh, you know, a human being that has a lot of intelligence between his or her ears. So, I was in the audience, but they had a microphone for the audience, and I sort of got up and said, I'm going to dissent. No, uh, the, the semantic web does not need ontologies. I know that there are some people who feel very, like the panelists, who feel that very strongly that ontologies are a must. I think most of us in this room disagree with, um, with David, and I think we need to show him. <laughs> it's a good analogy. And take him out to the playground and show him we can do much more. So when you, when you do parenting, there's only two people fighting unless the grandparents are at home, right? Okay. Uh, and they'll be fighting with you, but this is, you know, this is a whole community of, what was it, 500 odd, 600 people who are fighting all about a baby called the semantic web. Right. right. I mean, we could all just sort of sit back and do the work that we like to do and not care what everybody else is doing. But we're believers in the potential of this semantic web thing, that, that some wonderful things can, can come out of it. Um, and that makes us care uh, how it's pursued. What's funny thing about the web is it seeps in from the bottom, but for every person, they said, well, Tim, you know, what did you feel in 1993 when the web really exploded? Generally, that meant that was, it was when I found out about it. <laughs> Everybody, different people found out about the web at different times, or different people had their, their aha moment at different times. I think the web, the web, the World Wide Web, is a couple of different things. From a technology sense, it's some extraordinarily successful protocols and communication methods that mean that my web browser can go out to any web server in the world and ask for a web page and get it back and, and show it to me. From a more uh, social sense, the web is Facebook and MySpace and blogs and news sites and, right? and it's all the things we do on the web. And I think it's similar with Semantic Web. The first step is evolution, the second step is revolution. When, you know, once, once there's enough good content out there, we can make some systems that can reason on the, across the web and solve problems, answer complicated questions, uh, make amazing discoveries and linkages between things. Um, that'll be cool. That is off in the future. I have no idea what's going to happen, but in terms of the openness of the web and our ability to access it and uh, sort of the fundamental features of the internet that made it the internet. What happens to those features depends upon economics and politics and culture and technology. And it could easily change in radical ways through, um, through an invention that somebody in a garage in, is inventing now. It's a platform, just like the web. The idea of it is not that it should promote one particular sort of application. Uh, just as the internet didn't promote a particular application, uh, so I could design the web on it without asking anybody's permission. The same way, Semantic Web is sort of built on top of the web. It should just allow you to build whatever you like on top of it. What we, we can, at this conference, I think people can't imagine, because they're trying to make it work so much, they're not going to imagine what things people will be able to do with it once it's working and it's well deployed. Um. Do you think you can imagine? I mean, do you nope, imagine? I can't. No, if, if we end up building all the things I can imagine, we'll have failed.